Hello, Athens. Welcome to the Classic City Business Podcast. Our mission, to connect our community to the local business owner. If you love Athens and love supporting the people behind our businesses, then you're in the right place. We get to know the people behind the sign. Some are legends, others are on their way. You're listening to the Classic City Business Podcast with your friend, your host, all-around great guy and owner of Generations Commercial Cleaning, John Gluck. So get ready, buckle up, hang on, here we go. Hey Athens, welcome to the Classic City Business Podcast. I'm your host, John G, and today we're connecting our community to the people behind the sign at... Ash Insurance. All right, um, I'm with my good friend, Tim Smith. Uh, I want you to go ahead and just tell everybody a little bit about what you guys do specifically and how you serve the community. Well, we are one of those independent insurance agencies that's been around for about 25 years, about 26 years now. Uh, and what we do is we provide different types of insurance for people, uh, like work comp, general liability, home, auto, and we represent about 30 different companies that we can, so that we can shop your insurance each year and help people, you know, stay as affordable as possible. And uh, we try to stay involved in the community and help wherever we can in, uh, in Jackson County and the city of Houston and in Athens. So what I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick on you here right off the bat. If you had to choose like one area, and this is I mean I know you're doing a lot of different things, right? Cause I think I like the commercial the best because there's always something new going on. Uh, it, things change so much, uh, and the claims that we have, some of them are uh, interesting, shall we say, and uh, so it's just much, uh, much more fun to me. It, it livens it up a little bit. Actually, yeah. I said I was picking on you because I, I'm, off, I'm also a customer, so I just, I just wanted to see, you know, which side of that you're going to fall on and make sure that I was one of your favorites is all. That's there all. you go. You <laughs> are. There you go. That's really what I was doing. Uh, so... So if you had to do like a, a like just a 60 second commercial um, for Ash Wellborn, what would it look like? What would it sound like? Well, basically, uh, probably what I started off with uh, is that Ash Wellborn Insurance. We have uh, 25 years of experience as an independent agency, and we are there to work for you and try to get you the very best coverage that we can at the very best price for all your needs, whether it's home, auto, work comp, general liability, your equipment, whatever it is, we're there to get you uh, the best coverage we can. Okay, and cut. No, I like there it. That, that's good. I love it. Yeah. All right. So, um, you know, one of the things that we always like to talk about um, on the Classic City Business Podcast is how you serve the community. And you kind of mentioned this a little bit, like you um, like to serve where you can. Do you have any kind of example of what that would look like for Ash Wellborn? Yeah. Uh, we're, we're big into donating for different uh, causes in the community. Uh, my wife is uh, uh, big in helping at the pregnancy center mm -hmm. uh, in the area, and uh, so we are always donating there and helping where we can with counseling and uh, things like that. And uh, uh, Then we also try to support local businesses uh, by buying local. And I know you're really big on that. Yep. Um, in fact, some of the uh, networking things that you do, I know, are very local based. It's really what what they push is is buying and doing business with local. So that's one of the things that we like. You know, we talk about a lot on the Classic City Business Podcast. I was hoping you kind of get into that a little bit organically, but um, yeah. So listen, uh, one of the things that um, I I really appreciate about you um, on a personal level is that you do. You you got the biggest heart I've ever seen in my my life, man. It's I, I love it, and I say that because I would like to lead into the second segment, which is getting to know the person behind the sign. So I'm going to um, ask you a question that I ask of everybody, but then I'm hoping we're getting to get into something else. I'd love for you to share with everybody. But one of the things that I love to ask is, what is something about yourself? that even some people who may know you well, maybe even in your office here, might be surprised to learn 
they'd be they'd be like one of those things where they go say what now uh the fact that i'm blind tends to even people that know me forget a lot of times uh you can't see me guys but i'm raising my hand yeah uh, yeah and they and then sometimes they they'll you know do something funny like put me in their vehicle uh, which you might want to raise your hand again. Yeah, that. yeah. I was wondering uh, if you're going to get, tell that story. To put me in the like the driver's seat to see if I can figure out where I'm at, and then they kind of get a little panicky when I crank it and put it in reverse. But uh, anyway. Yeah, I thought it was going to be funny. I just know I didn't know it was going to be traumatic. <laughs> yeah. So it's a lot of people that know me forget are those that don't know me. They'll come in and uh, we'll get talking and. When I tell them I'm blind, they're like, you're what? How would you know to come out here and talk to me? Well, and I'll say, well, I can hear, but I can't see. So. <laughs> so you weren't always blind? No. Uh, I was uh, lost my sight in 09, uh, August 26th, 09. Uh, a gentleman that uh, had some mental issues and he decided to kill himself but I I wanted to I guess take somebody with him and I just was coming out of dental office and uh, that's that's when it occurred he he, uh, hit me with a truck and he shot me and then he killed himself unfortunately I always feel bad for that because it's uh, you know there, there definitely was a mental issue there for him yeah, I, I appreciate your sympathy towards him. It's it's one of those things that you know when I was talking about your your heart. It's it's amazing the forgiveness and um, the grace that you you've shown towards towards him. But um, what what has been the biggest impact on you since you've lost your sight? Maybe maybe on both sides of the coin, the good and the bad. Well. My wife and I, it's funny, probably the thing that's, that got us the most when that happened was we had to sell the motorcycle. Uh, <laughs> we love riding motorcycles, and uh, she she would ride on the back, and she's, you know, you'd have to meet my wife. She's like five foot one, 110 pounds, so full head. And she, when I got injured, she said, I'll learn how to drive, you know, 1,100 pound motorcycle. And, and you can ride on the back. And I said, yeah, that's not going to happen. See, I would have paid money to see that, Tim. Yeah. I really would have. That would have been awesome. That wasn't going to happen. So we, we had to sell it. So uh, really, that was probably the toughest part. Uh, the most, probably one of the best things is it's just the number of people I've gotten to meet because of it mm-hmm. and uh, witness to and talk to because I am a follower of Jesus share that with people and um, that part's been pretty cool because it's opened up a lot of a lot of doors for me that might not have been opened otherwise yeah that's the thing right like when when things happen to us we we don't understand and we look at them a lot of times as, as tragedy tragedies and they are but they open doors that we never would have you know had access to had it had whatever not happened so I, I love your story though I think it's it's awesome and I think it's a great example for people um, and you talked about your relationship, you know, with Jesus and obviously that having a Christian perspective helps, but it doesn't always define all of us right. when things happen. So I love, I love your story and I love how, um, you you gave a great example for all of us of how, what grace is supposed to look like. So I personally appreciate that. Well, there, there are days that, uh, I, you know, I may not be as full of grace as I should be. And I, I'm like anybody else. I'm going to get aggravated sure. and annoyed at my situation at times. But, you know, I just thank the good Lord that I'm not paralyzed. There are so many things that could have happened yeah. to me. And uh, so when I look in the mirror, I see the, the younger me, and I'm good with that. So. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a great point, and I, I promise you I never... I never thought about it like that, but that's true. You have a, in fact, I, when I sat down with you today, and I don't mean to pick, actually I do, I love giving you a hard time, but, um, and I can't talk too judgmentally about this, 
But there's a lot more gray hair on your head than I remember the last time I saw you. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, and I don't know if that's got anything to do with the, the being blind as much as you know, having four kids and now four grandchildren. See, that's that's probably what that is. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you because you can't see. Um, I still have dark dark hair, um, flowing. I mean, it's thick. It's lush. It's a, it's amazing how yeah. how good I look, man. So you still dye it? <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> that is not right. No, those that those that do get to see me every day, there's a lot of salt and pepper in there. But yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. That, that means you got some uh, uh, life lessons learned. That's how I look at it. Yeah. So uh, speaking of sometimes about forgetting your blind, one of the questions I love to ask is, um, like, you know, what do you do for fun? Like, do you guys do like movie nights? And if you do, you know, what you know talking about pizza and stuff like that. But we actually had a conversation and you do go to the movies and they actually have instruments for yeah, it's, how does... uh, it's called descriptive text. So I wear headphones like I'm doing now and it, um, it basically it'll tell me what's going on in the, in the movie. It describes it to me when, when they're not talking after talking right. in the movie it does that thing. But it makes it really fun because I've had friends I've gone to like a scary movie with and I know about two seconds before the person's <laughs> going to jump out so it, it helps me to scare you know, people increase right. the yeah. scariness of the movie so you're actually making I mean you're actually contributing to the experience yes. of who you're whoever you're going to the movie with that's what I'm yes. saying yeah yes. I like that that sounds so much like you it really does uh-huh. it's fun so what I what I actually pictured when you were talking about that um, was, you know, going back to you know twenties, thirties, or whatever. And I can just see the family, you know, pulling chairs up around the radio, mm-hmm. listen to the radio. I know it's a little bit different, obviously, because um, the descriptive part of it. But um, that's that blows my mind. So yeah, what's your what's your favorite movie that you've seen recently? Uh, oh shoot, I can't think of it now. The um, the one where the about the children. That's I knew you were going to say that. Back. And I, I'm, and I and I just did a a, a brain freeze too. Um, and I, oh, I cannot think of it, but it's uh, about the trafficking of children. Yeah. Uh, the guy that's in it. Uh, oh, he played Jesus. And I can see his face. Mel Gibson's uh, movie years ago. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, he was also uh, in Jim Caviezel. Yep. There you go. Yeah, Jim Caviezel. And uh, uh, yeah, I really like that movie and Sound of Freedom. That was That's a good one too. Yeah. That's actually the last one I have seen in the theater was uh, Sound of Freedom. All right, that's a good that's a good call. Um one of the favorite parts of of this doing this is we do uh, our last segment's called This is My Athens. And one of the things that I love, I always find out something new it feels like you know once a month somebody will say something that that i didn't know about athens like for example and i've said it on here too because i'm still so like in awe of the fact that we got a zoo in the middle of athens i don't know if you knew that or not yeah it's um not you know huge it's not you know like the Atlanta zoo or anything like that but they've got bear alligator and it's just weird that it's right there in the middle of athens down there but what say you tim what's what's your uh, favorite thing about being in the athens area i know you live in jefferson so you're right up the road. Well, I like, um, th- there's lots of neat things. Like we go to Jason's Deli. They have a Tava bar there. And a, a what bar? Tava. It's uh, it's right beside Jason's Deli there. And it it's a plant that they can make a drink out of. And it helps. Uh, they put it in like a coffee type form. Huh. And it is a, it is. It helps people, you can do the research on it, but it helps people who have had drug addictions and all to come off of those addictions. It's really good on that, but it's not, in, it's it's an all natural thing. And my daughter showed it to me one day, we were talking about it, we were going to try that. And it's like, they actually have some pretty good things, uh, like coffee type things in there. So it's really good. Um, and then Sherry and I, we were huge on the UGA's uh, vet, uh, veterinary services up there uh, because we had a dog that we thought we were going to 
blues. Mm-hmm. Uh, she could not hardly move at all. Her vet couldn't figure it out, so he referred her up to the UGA. And after a couple of visits, uh, they figured out what was wrong, and now she's back to normal, running around, playing. So it, it was really neat. So I, that's what I love about the area, just the community, the, the feel of community. Yeah, I'll have to find out more about that. Um, say it again. It's called Kava Bar. Kava Bar. It reminds me a little bit of Java Joy, um, yeah. of, of what they're doing um, over there. So that's that's we'll have to check that out for sure. Yeah. It's, it, like I said, it works really well because I've, I've got a lot of, pain in my face from where I got shot and uh, I did the one time I went and uh, uh, I had a coffee thing there and uh, I my face did not hurt for about eight or nine hours it was just really cool so it just really yeah so So I knew that you were um you know you'd get some different shots of stuff I know you were uh, experiencing continual pain so that's that's really interesting. So it lasts you for about eight yeah. to nine hours. Yep, more than I've, nothing else has ever worked with the nerve pain in there. Yeah, uh, and it's some kind of liquid. I, I've read the story on it about an island that they get it from, and the people there they all have a cup of kava when they get home each day because it relaxes them from working. All it's uh, it's like I said, all natural, non addictive stuff in it. And now they found that it's helped a lot of people that were, uh, you know, had issues with uh, drugs or uh, any kind of addiction. We'll have to look at that. That's that's actually pretty fascinating. It reminds me a lot of what Java Joy is with ESP and you know the work. And this goes back to, and the reason why I wanted to ask you, you know, earlier in the episode about some of the things that you um, get involved with in terms of your heart and, and how you give back to the community. Uh, I was kind of trying to lead you a little bit because one of the big things I do know is we talked about the small businesses and doing business with local businesses. And when you find somebody that's doing something positive for, for our communities, we want to give them attention. We want to send people their way. Um, not just to say thank you, but because they're doing good in our communities. So thank you for sharing that. I did not expect that. I didn't see that coming. I knew about some of the other stuff, but that's really cool, man. Oh yeah. It's, it's just neat to, you know, to build up the community and, and see the, as I call them, the mom and pop businesses really thrive because it's so many times they're for, the small business is forgotten about. Yeah. And that's the ones I want to see succeed. Well, and, and convenience, right? I mean, we've gotten so, we can, you know, literally, uh, you know, hit an app or something and something gets delivered to you and um, we get so busy and we are busy. So I think that having that on our, our forethoughts are being reminded, hey, these guys over here are doing this. And by the way, this is really good, you know? Yeah. So um, that's awesome, man. I, I love it. It makes, it makes the world a better place. I'll put it that way. Yeah, and it's where we live. I mean, literally our community, right? So, um, yeah, we'll have to check that out as far as the podcast goes. And if nothing else, go give them, give them some business, you know, personally. Yeah, they're right, by, right next to Jason's Deli over there, which I like them too. So where where is that off of? Do you know what street that is? Uh, it's uh, 129 going into Athens. So it's off of Jefferson Highway right there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, uh, like I said, a really neat little place. Well, can you, can you tell us what the building looks like? It's, I'm being sarcastic. You're supposed to say I'm... like all the others. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> really Usually you're like, giving me really the blind jokes. In for me, so yeah. yeah, right, right, right. So, well, I appreciate um, appreciate you uh, taking the time to do this, and I am not going to put you in the driver's seat of my truck. Although I do have decent coverage, as it turns out. Yeah. yeah. So, so I know I know a guy. If you if you need somebody to write some auto insurance, uh, um, oh yeah. yeah, Tim Smith, Ash Wellborn, Ash Wellborn Insurance. I don't know why I always have a hard time saying that. I feel like it should be two words, like Ash well, Wellborn. Is. It is. It's got, it's, it's got ash the hyphen. And a little hyphen and well, well, I mean the well born. Yeah. It, the well, it's W E L B O R N. Yeah, and I want to, I want to go well, W E L L born. So anyway, yeah, that's, that's how most people like to do it. Uh, and I have that habit too. So. No, you don't. Not at this point, man. You've been no, doing well, it for so now, long. Come on, I have, I have in the past. Yeah. 
That's the better way to put it. Sorry. All right. Well, thank you for doing this. Um, we literally had to fit it in this morning. So we're over here at Tim's office, by the way. Guys over here in, in Houston, they've got some tree work going on outside. There's a bunch of noise. He had phone calls coming in, and I got what we got pushed back about 45 minutes. It's been it's been a total uh, chaos this morning. So hopefully it didn't sound like that, but nonetheless, here we are. So Athens, until next time, go dogs, sick of ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, guys, we did it. We made it to the end of the show. Now that you've heard at least one episode, can you do me a favor? If you know someone you would like to hear on a future episode, you can contact us or have them contact us at podcastjohng at gmail.com or just message us on our social media platforms or on Instagram, Facebook. Just search the Classic City Business Podcast. You'll find us. One more thing. Please like, rate, review, and share. All of this really helps a lot. We really do want to connect our community to the local business owner. We believe this is a great platform to do just that. And thank you for taking this ride with us as we get to know the people behind the sign. It's going to be a lot of fun. In Athens, until next time, I'm John G. And go dogs.